Hello everyone, welcome back to my tutorial series on WooCommerce discounts. In this video, we're going to learn how to create category based discounts. We're going to generally offer discount on a specific category or two and let's learn how to do that. Well, we're going to use the popular WooCommerce discount plugin called Discount Rules Pro for WooCommerce to create such discounts. Before we get into the video, please make sure you have downloaded, installed and activated the Discount Rules Pro plugin on your site. If you haven't done this yet, then please do not worry because we have a video that can help you to install the Discount Rules plugin which we have posted already. You can find the link to download the plugin as well as the tutorial video in the description below. Feel free to check the description below for further details. With that being said, let's get started. To begin with category discounts, we may have to first go to the WordPress dashboard. Under WooCommerce, you'll find Woo Discount Tools. If you click on it, you'll be taken to the plugins dashboard. To create new rule, we'll have to click on add new rule button, which will take us to the rule configuration page. We're going to offer 10% off on a specific category, which is called accessories. To do this, first let's enter a suitable title. I'm going to say 10% off on category named accessories. Okay. Nice. So 10% off will apply only to products that come under this particular category. You can also choose multiple categories according to your wish. Okay, now that we have entered a suitable title, let's go ahead and select the discount type. To select discount types, you'll have to click on this drop down and I'm going to select product adjustment today. You can also select other discount types that is matching your scenario. And then let's decide which products or categories are eligible for this particular discount rule. As we have discussed, it's a category based discount. So I'm going to include just one category for the scenario, which is going to be accessories. To do that, we'll have to click on this drop down and select category in list, meaning include. And here I'm going to select that particular category, which is accessories. Okay, so let me search for it. And here I'm finding the category. Now that I've included this particular category, it means 10% off applies only on products under this specific category. You can also include other categories here, which means discount will apply to those categories as well. Okay. And then it's time for us to select the discount type. As discussed, it's going to be a 10% off. So the discount type that I'm choosing is going to be percentage discount with a value of 10, meaning 10%. Okay. That's all, isn't it? It's very simple to create. And just like every other rule, if you want to have a time limit for this category based discounts as well, then you can go for the validity that you can set for this particular rule. And how do you set validity is by defining the start date and time and then the end date and time. So once this particular date and time is reached, the rule will expire, meaning it won't function anymore. Okay, so if you want to go for it, please set validity here. That is all. Let's go ahead, save and close this particular rule and see how this works on the storefront. Now that you can see the status of this particular rule is enabled, meaning it's active. Let's go ahead and test this rule. To test it, I'm going to take you to the storefront. Okay. Here we are on the storefront. Let me take you to the exact category that is eligible for this 10% off. Do you remember the category name? It was accessories. So let me take you to the accessories page. So now this is the category accessory page and you can see a 10% off is applied on all of them. Isn't it? Which means all of these products under the accessories category qualify for the 10% off. Whereas if you see other categories, you may not be able to see this 10% sale badge. Okay, so let me take you to hoodies category and show you what I'm talking about. You can see now hoodies category do not qualify for the 10% off. So only the category that we have specified in the rules qualify for the 10% off. For this case, it is accessories. Okay. Now all that we have to do is add the products to cart and then see if the discount rule is applied properly. To do this, I'm going to add some products from the accessories category like the belt and the cap. Cool, isn't it? Now I'm going to take you to the cart page and show you how the discount rule has applied. So we are on the cart page here. You can see both of these products have gained a 10% off on each of them, isn't it? Because they belong to the accessories category. So this is how discounts based on categories work. 
and if you want to sell out a specific category or more then you can just opt for this particular scenario thank you so much for watching